when I feel into my body, I sense that it is not as flexible, as powerful as it can be. And that's a result of too much comfort. Too comfortable beds, too comfortable sofas, too comfortable chairs, like we are basically chilling all day. We are not meant to do that. We are meant to sit on the floor and sleep on the floor. And of course, this is what we're gonna do here in Castoria. This is not just a, like an improvisation that I'm doing because I don't have anything. This is really the goal. Yesterday's <laughs> creation, the first tent is already set up for the first time, slept in the middle of the jungle, on the land, my first sunrise on Castoria. <sighs> oh, I had such a beautiful night, I can tell you. Slept on the floor, there's no mattress, no bed whatsoever, just on a blanket. I slept beautifully in my polyphasic routine. I got up at 3.30. I felt good. My body felt powerful. I'm hearing the jungle noises. Now the neighbor's dog already got up too. It's big heaven. I can tell you. <laughs> Beautiful Mount Adeng. Reading me nicely. There the sun is going up behind the bamboo. Salamat pagi. <laughs> there it is, the first of eight beautiful tents that we're gonna set up here over the upcoming weeks. <laughs> tents that will soon be filled with life, with laughter with creativity, with love, with community, with big ideas and warm hugs, with deep transformation, with tears, with relief, with exhilaration, with joy, with custodianship. This is what we're going to invite from December on. Cannot be more grateful to be able to walk this path, to be able to do this, to be able to build this. This is both an honor and a huge pleasure at the same time. <laughs> All right, I just finished my morning nap. The sun is already there. The tent is still there. It's like, yeah. It's like heaven. But of course, convenience is not a thing yet. So, I want to, no, I need to get a shower. That means walking down to the river. And I'm thirsty. That means walking down to the river. So, When you're working for the things that you want, you get more satisfaction out of them compared to when they are just handed over to you. That's the beauty of a minimalist, nature-aligned life. And if we understand this, then it becomes super clear that custodianship, living life from the attitude of serving something that I believe in, the planet as a whole, my son, the projects that I'm that I'm starting, like all that, is not about 
like sacrificing yourself for the good of something or somebody else. It's about bringing the well-being of the outside world and the well-being of yourself into coherence. Like they walk hand in hand. The more we serve what we believe in, the more we thrive as well. Because there's no greater joy than caring for something you love. rains our river gets more and more filled with water so every time every time there are raindrops on my tent I'm very excited look at this <laughs> look at this most beautiful and natural natural pool wow 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 as it turned out <laughs> I put the camera here and I jumped in there and I told all sorts of funny stories <laughs> but I didn't hit the record button before I was too mesmerized by this beauty probably anyway I had an epic jump in there it's so pure I not only showered I drank a bottle of water too <laughs> and I had fun and I had a little exercise like this is everything at once. That's your pool. That's your playground. That's your gym. Like who needs, who the fuck needs a boulder place when you have this. Like climbing up here was, uh, was not easy. And it's a breathwork session all the while too. With this pure crisp mountain air like heaven heaven is the only word that describes it besides custodia and yesterday marked the day when i moved into paradise officially so i'm officially a resident <laughs> oh what the fuck oh what the fuck hmm. all right welcome to my bed to my office to my lounge to everything I'm sleeping on the floor that's a yoga mat that's a blanket that's a pillow and this is the beautiful ah, incredibly amazing um, bed sheet and duvet that uh, I got from Hevea then let me try it for a couple of days and then I can make the decision what kind of material is the best for our climate up here so I'm sleeping on the floor. Why am I doing this? I'm going to show you a quick video that beautifully illustrates that. Let's address the problems with westernized mattresses, how these beds are affecting your sleep, your back, and potentially leading to toxic chemical exposure. Have you ever wondered what's in your mattress? Most mattresses in history were usually thin and made of natural materials. It was only within the last 100 to 200 years that companies started making thick mattresses from unnatural materials. Not only does our body need a firm mattress to sleep on, but also the material and the structure and the density of that material being used in the mattress attributes to not only the firmness, but also to things like chemical toxins. It's a great video. I can highly recommend you to watch it. Lately, I've I dove into the world of sleeping, not on mattresses, but on floors. And it resonates so much with me. When I feel into my body, I sense that it is not as flexible, as powerful as it can be. And that's a result of too much comfort. Too comfortable beds, too comfortable sofas, too comfortable chairs, like we are basically chilling all day and we are not meant to do that we are meant to sit on the floor and sleep on the floor and of course this is what we're gonna do here in Castoria this is not just a like an <laughs> like an improvisation that I'm doing because I don't have anything this is really the goal
because I don't only want to help people in their inner transformation and their like service that they bring to the world. I want them to slowly but gradually realign with their most primal, most fundamental physical powers. And sleeping on the right surface, what we're going to do for multiple hours each and every day is one of the most important components of that. And now I want to show you how I use ChatGPT to design the perfect bedroom setup for this unique set of criteria that we're living in right now. The recommendation Kate Pryor gives in his YouTube video is to sleep on a Japanese futon. It's called a shiki buton. And then what I did is I asked ChatGPT what material is a traditional shiki buton made of? A traditional shiki futon, also known as Japanese futon, is typically made from layers of cotton. Cotton, cotton, cotton. Traditional futons are designed to be rolled up and stored during the day, and so on and so on. And then I asked ChatGPT, would you recommend a shiki futon in our situation, glamping tents in central Bali on 800 meters of altitude with heavy rainy season? ChatGPT said, a shiki futon might not be the ideal choice for your situation given the climate challenges, pros, breathability, portability, minimalist support, but cons, humidity. Cotton absorbs moisture, which can be problematic in Bali's humid environment. This can lead to mold and mildew buildup if the futon is not aired out frequently. Alternatives. Latex or coconut core. Natural latex or coconut core mattresses may be more suitable. They are naturally resistant to mold, offer firm support and are breathable, making them a better fit for your environment. Then I asked, where can I buy a latex or coconut core mattress or mix of both here in Indonesia? ChatGPT <laughs> recommended Mimpi for la natural latex mattresses and Cellcore Indonesia for coconut fiber mattresses. Sweet spot. Then I asked ChatGPT, to which extent do you see this, the Mimpi product I just discovered, as a viable option for me at the sweet spot between the floor sleeping philosophy and my requirements given the climate we are in? ChatGPT said, could be a viable option. Key factors, firmness and minimalism. Climate considerations, portability and maintenance. Conclusion, if you're looking for a balance and so on and so on and so on, could be a good middle ground solution. And then I checked out the other website that ChatGPT gave me, Bali Natural Latex, and I found out that it is available in 1 cm, 2.5, 5 and 8 cm. What would you recommend? ChatGPT says, Bali Natural Latex topper could indeed be an even better option for you. Why it might be better? Material, thickness options, and then it gave specific recommendations for the given, <laughs> for the given th thickness options. It is incredible what this AI tool can bring to the table and this was a process of like not many hours as it would have taken with old school google <laughs> searches this is this is a fucking beast so this was a huge step forward towards the ultimate setup for the conditions that we are in right now I'll keep you posted which mattress we're gonna choose. Good evening, friends. I just took a three hour nap. My body is today in for a rest. I will go to bed early. Leo sleeps at grandma's place. Oh god. Today's rest mode. Do you hear that? Oh, friends, that Patucado coffee is dead. They're our neighbors hosting a retreat right now. This is already the second singing circle that I get to witness. Beautiful. <laughs> They're an essential part of our vision to not only build 
a beautiful place on our own land, but to build a Florence of the 21st century, build a hub for our modern day Renaissance, a place that Leonardo da Vinci, if he would be incarnating today, would give him everything he needs to unveil his innate genius. Yeah, so it's about all the places that are surrounding us and Patacotta Coffee Estate, they play a major part in that. Yeah, they have a beautiful garden, growing almost everything themselves. They have an epic Balinese kitchen, hosting regular retreats, bringing people to the area, really holding, holding the spirit. Yeah, grateful for them. Grateful for my little tent. <laughs> I, did, <laughs> I did a little, yeah, I cleaned up, <laughs> so to say. Things got a little bit messy <laughs> over the day. So, here's my little nighttime stuff. Over there, there are some clothes, some bags, some snacks and so on. So my 12 square meters are tidy. Know that. <laughs> Thank you for today's journey, friends. It's a hugely transformative process for me as well. Oh, wow. <sighs> I'm so grateful that I get to do this work. And at the same time, it's asking every ounce of my potential of me. Tomorrow we're gonna continue this journey. See you guys then. Bye bye. Oh, 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 oh. one more thing. If you want to stay in a beautiful tent like this with the. Okay, let me show it to you. Let me show it. I didn't plan to open the tent anymore, but. Me to show you. Look at that. <sighs> Look at this tremendously lush jungle. Somewhere over there, behind the clouds, Spotokaru Coffee is dead. Over there, a neighbor will be. Down there, another one. Beautiful people who are in it for this custodian journey. If you want to join us here, for January, four week immersion, January 4 until January 31. We have slots vacant. So if you feel a calling to come here, to deepen your embodiment of what you wish to see in the world and at the same time, raise your level of service that you can bring in your company, in your community, in your family, and ultimately to the planet as a whole, in the way you live, in the way you live, and the values you embody. <laughs> December's already at full capacity, six weeks left, and then we're gonna start hosting the first custodians here. A lot to do <laughs> until then, <laughs> you see that, but we're making significant progress. First tent is already there. Grateful for that. See you guys tomorrow. Bye bye.